Hey guys, Stole Jacob here, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Crackback Survival. Today we're gonna build some machines that will give us infinite stone, which I kind of want, and we're also just gonna I'm gonna show you guys a couple things. So the first thing let's do is let's just show you guys what the um, core is done. It's been pretty good. It's given us a lot of materials, and I've already set up another area for it to run. I don't think it's actually currently running, and I don't have any materials on me to fuel it. Whoa, there's a skeleton here. Get in the oil. <laughs> but as you can see, this whole area is just sort of um, empty now. It's gone all the way down, I think. It's hard to tell with the oil, but we can also harvest oil later. And, yeah, I set up this one over here, but, um, yeah, there's a bit of oil in the way, so, again, it's hard to see everything. Um, let's just, let's take all this coal and fuel it up for a little bit, get some, get a little bit. I've been getting a lot of charcoal from the trees outside, and that's how I've been crafting, and I, that's how I've been fueling my, um, quarry, just by using charcoal. So that's going well. We got we moved all the materials upstairs already, so that's good. And yeah, let's try and build some machines. It'll be pretty cool. We can get infinite stone, which I mean, I want to build my I'm going to build a big town in the future and I'm going to use stone or stone-like materials as the main building block. So um, the first machine we're going to have to build is an igneous extruder. It's not the most difficult thing. We need a lot of just iron and stuff like that. So let's build that thing right away. Uh, where did I put my glass exactly? In here, I also have a bunch of iron in there. So that first part was like this, I believe a pneumatic servo. We also need a piston, which that's not difficult. Just go redstone there, then cobblestone on the sides. There's our piston. And we need two copper gears, which is we need eight copper and two iron like this. And last but not least, when we have glass and we need a basic machine frame, which is iron and glass and a tin gear, which is that. Okay. And I picked all this up earlier, which was awesome. So we have ourselves the tin gear. Now we will craft the basic frame, I think it's called, right? Machine frame, okay. And it goes basic machine frame, pneumatic servo, piston, glass there, and one more, it goes um, copper gears. And there we got an igneous extruder. So that's awesome. And we need to build one more machine for us to get infinite stone. And that is the aqueous, it's hard to spell, um, the aqueous accumulator. And it's uh, basically the same exact thing, but with a bucket instead. Okay. So let's grab a bit of iron, some more copper, a couple of pieces of tin, and do you have any more sand? We might need to go get some. We're a bit low on sand. But yeah, we've been getting a lot of materials from that. Okay, there we got plenty of sand. Let's just melt that in there. And we'll start off with the servo again. I think it goes like this, right? Okay, we got the servo. So let's build the piston. I'm starting to memorize the piston. <laughs> That's really good to know. The piston's a very useful object. We also needed 
Oh yeah. The copper gears. And the tin gear. And we just need the frame which I'm gonna try to do it without looking. We need some more glass. So we got some glass. Then went tin gear, glass, like that, and iron. And that is the machine frame. And it went like that. Oh wait, we didn't need a piston, I forgot. We needed a bucket. Darn it. Okay. Yeah, oh wait, we gotta take all this out. We need a bucket. We actually need two buckets, because we're gonna be able, we need to scoop up some um, liquids to use this thing. So, yeah. Made an extra piston, we'll, put, we'll need that in the future for sure though. And now we have the aqueous accumulator. So I'm just gonna dig a small, uh, I'll dig a little hole in the floor. I don't know how big I should make it, but um, what we want to do is put the aqueous accumulator here. And this will suck out water. And we're going to put the igneous extruder next to it. And, alright, I think I actually have some stone in here, just to make it look a bit nicer. Got some stone. Alright, the server backed up. Alright, didn't know it did that. Okay, so... What we need to do is get a bunch of liquids that we need. So we're gonna go outside and grab... Um, let's just type in clock here so we know what time it is. It's actually turning dark a little bit. We can get these buckets quick though. So we need two buckets, for sure. And this is how to make infinite um, stone, if you were wondering. So it's a really handy thing to do. Especially if you like building with stone. So we're going to put that there. And we're going to go grab one more bucket. And there we go. Another bucket of water. That's fantastic. Let's move up here. So we have two buckets of water now. Uh, I forget, did you have to power this thing? I forget how this works. Uh, I know the aqueous accumulator should grab water somehow. I just forget how it does it. And this thing... Uh, I, yeah, I forgot how this works completely. Okay. I forget the configuration as well. I don't think we needed power for it though. Um, pulls water from surroundings. It's the. Um, so, how do we get this thing to work? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is pretty weird, I guess. Wait a minute. Hmm. I don't know how we put wire in there. Very bad at this. Okay. I need to think about it. So we have water in there. Is it like facing the wrong way? I'm 
not quite sure. I hear a wisp. I don't like that. I forget, does this thing need power? I don't think so. I don't remember this thing needing power. Well, let's go and find a bucket of lava, because that's the second ingredient we need to make this thing work. So let's find a bucket of lava. Um, where did we find some lava? I think that one here. Yep, there's some. Alright, we got ourselves a bucket of lava. Now let's go put this in the igneous extract extruder. I forget what it's called, but the thing that makes it makes cobblestone, stone, and obsidian, and it's pretty cool how it works. You just have to put water and lava into it, and it will make any of those. The difference between them, though, is how is what you have to keep refilling with. So to keep making to make cobblestone you just need one bucket of water and one bucket of lava and it will infinitely make cobblestone like it is to make stone you need to put infinite water with it and to make obsidian you need infinite water and lava I believe so obsidian's a bit tricky because you have to have infinite lava somehow um. Here, zombie. I'm just trying to figure out how we get this thing to work. I forget those blue suck things in, right? Yeah. So we need it to be blue. But how do we get this thing to start getting water? What if it's surrounded on all sides by water? Hmm. I don't remember. Oh. Is it working? So if we change it to stone, and we take this out? It'll use some water, right? Yes, but it instantly gets refilled, so that's awesome. So I guess we just have to fill water on most of its sides, I guess. That's cool though, we got it to work! So now we have infinite stone, because it will constantly refill the water, and you only need one bucket of lava. So yeah, infinite stone. So then we can build our base whenever we want, with like stone bricks and stuff like that, which I'm really excited for. Maybe I'll start building in this area. That looks like a nice spot. There's a zombie over there. But there's like one or two more things I want to show you guys before the episode's done. Oh, I don't like that guy. Uh, so let's try and get outside. And there's something interesting on top of our base, actually. Which I want to show you. There's a wisp there. So that's cool. Skeleton. Gotta be quiet. We don't want to aggro the skeleton. And there's a creeper. Okay, we'll try and take out the creeper. I actually don't know where he is. Is this scary? Oh, he's down here. Uh, he's not dead, but he's away from us. Okay. So up here, there's a bunch of wisps spawning because there is a weird structure up here. Wisps are kind of dangerous. They can shock you like that. But look, we have this weird structure here, which I think is really cool. And there's a chest here. We're just going to grab everything so we don't die. But yeah, this is a cool obsidian structure. I believe it has something to do with Thomcraft. And I, it spawns wisps. I think there's a spawner below it right there. So that's really interesting. Maybe we can farm it or something. I'm not really sure. 
but it spawns wisps at us, and yeah, wisps are a thumbcraft boss. Oh. Oh. Zombie. Okay, we need to get back inside of our base. And we should be good for the episode. It's a bit, might be a bit shorter, I'm not really sure. But, yeah, we did everything I wanted. We made infinite stone, and I showed you guys that little structure. It's kind of being guarded at the moment by a wisp, but, yeah. That thing is pretty cool. Creeper, let's kill you. There we go. Got him. Okay, so let's head back up inside our base quick. And we'll check out some of the loot that we got from that thing. Because, yeah, those are just some small Stormcraft structures, I believe, and they are pretty cool. I mean, they spawn wisps, so maybe we can make like a spawn, a wisp, spa a wisp spawner thing that kills the wisp. So, we got a disposable item turret. What does this do? and a turret base tier one so what mod is this open modular turrets huh let's check this mod out okay this looks interesting so this looks like a mod that helps you defend your base I guess so you can build like turrets and things to protect it that actually is really cool not gonna get into that until we make a really nice base and we have the resources but that might be a really good mod to get defense in so we have like we basically have the best like the earliest level turret which is pretty cool we could set that up eventually with some power but yeah Oh, I should also... Let's add a chest there so we can um, just get a bunch of stuff. So let's make a double chest. And let's place the chest. Let's place it in the ground next to it, I guess. It's actually a bad... Will it work? I don't think it will. Um... We can use some of the stone and fill it back in. Um, let's try and put it right here, just next to the water, I guess. So we need to make one of these sides orange. That side orange, right? So there's. Okay, so it's working. So now this chest should get filled up with cobblestone. And if we really want to, we can make a second double chest as well and put it on the other side. And we'll just store a crap ton of stone, which we can use to build things and just build a base eventually. So that's pretty cool. So if we set this side to orange as well. This uh, yeah, both sides are now getting are getting stone. So yeah, we basically set up a way to get a ton of stone, which is really good. And yeah, we got some new turrety items, which look really sick. I'm gonna place them, see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this thing looks awesome. Okay, so you have to like store ammo and stuff, which might be a bit tedious. But this thing just looks cool. I might just leave it for decoration for now, because that looks awesome. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Feed the Beast Crackback. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya!